hi welcome to a new tutorial from learn design in this tutorial i'm going to talk about how to try to achieve the airbrushing effect in lightroom without going into photoshop at least this could catch you a lot of time when you are you know working on images and you need to do it really quick without going into photoshop after you edit in lightroom so let's go ahead and do this so first i'm just going to trying to warm up my image a bit uh, and bring my tint in the purple of her i think this will be okay and i'll just do a, a few adjustments here before i start with this so with my blue i'll just put it into this a bit back it up and then and down the luminosity a bit. Okay. Mm. Mm. My shadows, I'll put my shadows up a bit. It's too much. So up a bit. Crush my blacks a bit. Put my heights out a bit. Then I'll bring down my highlights. Okay. So now I have a basic look that I want and I would like to use it and I'll put my clarity up just a hair, like 7 and that will be okay. So this is the image that I'm going to work on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, a new effect that I can put on this image which will make it look like it's been airbrushed. So this is going to be done here when you go to your brush. You know i have it selected already but when you go into lightroom there is a part where it says soften skin you can select that and if you look at the settings right here the clarity is at 100 and your sharpness is at 25 so you can take it down or bring it up depending on what you want to achieve so with that selected i'll just go in and then i'll start brushing on my image when i brush on it take you know note of it you see that it starts softening the skin in a way you know if you are editing in Lightroom and you want a very uh, quick way to try to do some sort of airbrushing in Lightroom, this is the way forward to do it. So you can use this. And what I like about this is when you are sweating, or like in this image, when you have sweat on your face, or something, it kind of uh, it kind of bring it down a bit for you so like you know it tones down your highlights in a way for you so your highlights are not too bright so this is the effect i'm having here so you can decide to tone it down you know with the uh, clarity or bring the sharpness up some more so that it looks much more sharpened so it depends on the kind of effect you are going for and then what feel you want to have at the end of the day so um this is pretty much all all of all of it and after that you can still come in again and then recreate this brush again you know apply it the second time so i'm doing it the second time on top of the first one that i did so you can see that i'm reapplying this brush again for the second time so it's going to give me a double effect on it if i'm not satisfied with the first one i can do this the second time again so this is totally a choice that you need to make on your own and most of the times try to avoid the very very dark areas because it tends to make those areas a bit uh, a bit less visible than it is so this is what I have. So this is my before and after. As you can see, this is what I've achieved. So this is my before and then after. You know, so this is an amazing way to quickly, you know, get this effect on your image in uh, Lightroom. Thank you.